Now, the Americans are now saying that um, Afghanistan could fall to Taliban within weeks. Well, that's, yeah, sure. I mean, weeks, replace the word weeks with hours. It's already fallen. Uh, every few minutes we get new updates about the territory changes. It's essentially gone. And in a sense that, not that before this, Afghanistan was this prosperous, stable nation. It's been like that for ages. But in terms of who's controlling it, it matters. It's right next to Iran. It's right, of course, next to Pakistan. That area, as well as the uh, Iranian territory, these are very important when it comes to the conflict between East and West. This is the new Cold War. And I'm not saying we should go back and invade and stay there, but this is a mess that we created in modern times. We have to do something about it. The problem here is that the White House has been controlled by the Democrats. Now, President Biden and his team and all the Democrats who are uh, interventionists who want to go out there in the world and police the world because that's America's job. We have to get there. We have to destroy everything. And we have to tell people how to behave and how to be civilized and how to uh, teach them democracy are also the same people who keep picking the sides of our enemies. The U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, is one of those people who has now said that uh, the CCP's interest in Afghanistan could be a positive thing. China entering Afghanistan could be a positive thing. After China gave a warm and very public welcome to the uh, senior Taliban delegation. So, Antony Blink uh, Blinken, who's supposed to be the second main guy in the U.S. government, the American government, land of the free, is happy that China and the Taliban are talking because he thinks, well, or he wants us to think that he thinks that these talks could end in well, peace, that China will tell Taliban to be good because China are, you know, hold the, the morality. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's funny because they, they're treating China as some sort of a, you're, you're now our uh, part of the delegation of the you know, civilized world. You go to tell the Taliban to be better. So Anthony Blinken is trusting China to calm things down with Taliban. N not the reality, which is they're going to be talking. They're going to do the power sharing. And then China is going to take advantage of Afghanistan, the natural resources. It's classic China. Yet Anthony Blinken, as I said, is the exact same sort of a, a Democrat who would be in favor of foreign intervention getting to countries, changing their culture, installing dictators, making a mess, creating opposition, which they supported initially to do the coup d'etat or revolution, and then they create an enemy out of them, they, they, they attack them, then they come out, and then they support their new enemies. It makes no sense. So this is the problem that has been created in the region right now. It's not just America's fault. And, you know, those who are completely anti-intervention and say it's just America's fault. It's, it, it all, the whole thing starts in 2001. No, no, no. It, it, the modern um, problem that we have is caused by 2001, but it was happening way before that anyway. Right. But, uh, before I actually end this, um, as some of you know, this Sunday, we're going to have a special guest on the channel, the main channel, the website, uh, Jason Miller, the former senior advisor to President Trump and the CEO of Getter. So if you want to... Um, watch that discussion then definitely check out the channel but also the rest of this conversation and all the other topics that we have in the main show is the afghan crisis the putin spy the public sector fail with the nhs and the climate militants extinction rebellion all the stuff that of course i only managed to post a couple of them short versions and also self-censored if you want to watch a full and unedited version of all this and get access to much more then definitely check out my tc dot co dot uk that's the main website the main channel that we have uh, so again just check it out for yourself you'll see what you can get and if you want to support independent media to counter the complacency of the mainstream media then check it out and i'll see you guys on the other side